Good evening everybody, it's Tess Crawley here, clinical and forensic psychologist based in Hobart, Tasmania and I'm the director of Dr Tess Crawley and Associates. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen any of my videos before but uh, we're now on day 56 of a 90 day vlog challenge and I'm streaming live tonight from my uh, main business page Dr Tess Crawley and Associates and I'm about to share that into my closed Facebook group which you are welcome to join called the Stigma Rebellion which is all about providing a safe forum for people to engage with these videos, engage with me, uh, engage with each other. It's also meant to be you know, a little bit of support for one another without everyone on Facebook seeing what you're saying. So only um, those members of the group, the Stigma Rebellion, um, see what you say when you're commenting within that group. So I'll just do that share now into group stigma rebellion and away we go so I thought I'd better give you all a little bit of an update on um, the videos that I've done in the past around goal setting and of course I used my example of getting myself back to the gym as um, an illustration of the processes that you go through to establish some goals, to make some realistic and achievable goals, to set up a plan for how to implement your goals, how to action those plans and how to measure whether or not you're succeeding. Now, um, I've got a confession to make. I had about two, maybe three weeks off the gym and I found myself this morning really feeling the shoulds. I really should go to the gym, but then I also heard the naked butts that we talked about the other day. Oh, but I haven't got time and but this and but that and but something or other else. Long story short, I got myself to the gym, but on the way to the gym, I was having a think about what I need to boost me a little bit more to um, keep me on track with my goals, which was just to get a bit healthier and a bit stronger and um, keep me going. What do I need? And then the, this notion of accountability popped into my mind. And I thought, okay, I thought I had made myself accountable by telling you all what my goals were and how I was going to achieve them. And um, clearly that wasn't enough accountability. So first of all, I needed to come and fess up that I hadn't been going. Um, I mean, I had been going, but I'd had a couple of weeks off, school holidays, we'd been away for a week, da 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 da, -da lots of excuses. Um, but I thought I need something else to, I need someone more immediate to be able to um, hold me to account. I need to be able to have somebody who um, I will feel accountable to directly. And that's actually a really interesting topic. When you think about goals and you think about who does it matter to, if I don't achieve my goals. Now, most of the time, I'm all about not worrying about what other people think. But I think sometimes when you've got a really important goal, if you can get some buy-in, hi Chris, I can see you've joined me tonight, welcome. Um, if you can get some buy-in, some, you know, if you can buy someone else's energy, if you like, to help you achieve those goals. Now, this can be something as simple as you've decided you're going to go for a walk every night after dinner. Now, if you set up to meet a friend at the corner of your street and go for that walk, um, then you're going to feel like you're letting them down if you just don't turn up. Okay, so this is what I mean. If you've got some extra boost that you can get out of being more accountable to an individual person. Hi, Ange. Um, Ange is one of my team members from Launceston. Welcome to tonight's vlog, Ange. Lovely to have you with me live. So when you're setting your goals and you've thought you've made yourself accountable, but then you realize you've fallen back a little bit, you might need to have a think about how can I ramp up that accountability so that I really have someone to answer for, answer to, if I let myself fall back. So what I did this morning was um, 
I decided to sign up and I had been thinking about this for a little while I decided to sign up for some personal training sessions so I'm going to meet with the personal trainer on Friday uh, she guarantees me she's not gonna smash me that's what that was the word she used um, but uh, we are gonna meet up on Friday we're gonna have a chat about what my goals are we're gonna have a chat about how she can help me get there and then we're going to come up with a plan for how often I'm going to have these personal training sessions. And then we're going to lock them in to her diary and my diary. Now my diary is a bit of a nightmare most of the time. But I do know that once something's in there and I have to turn up to a thing, I'm not likely to break that unless it's for a really good reason. So that's number one. And the second is if I've told somebody else that I'm going to be in a certain place at a certain time, then I'm not going to let that person down unless there's a really good reason. So it's all about, you know, respect and courtesy, really, at the end of the day. If I've said I'm going to be somewhere, then I'll do my best to be there. So that's what I've done to help me ramp up the accountability quotient in my goals. And I thought maybe it would be something for you to think about with the goals that you might have set for yourself and how you're going with achieving those goals. Hi Shelley, welcome aboard tonight. And Mel's here as well, we're having a little party. I'm actually meant to be putting the children to bed, but um, I'll, I'll get to them in a minute. So um, when you're looking at your own goals that you might have established for yourself, have a think about how accountable are you for those goals being met or not met. So this is true whether it's working with a professional mentor in your work, whether it's um, you know a commitment you've made to the school to help with um, canteen, um, or whether it's me going to the gym. Whatever the goal is or whatever the, the obligation is that you've agreed to doing, Look at what the accountability is. What happens if you just don't do it? And if you need to ramp that up a little bit, find somebody that you will feel a sense of obligation to to help you work on that accountability. Um, so I think, you know, I mean, you can think about all sorts of examples. It's got to be the right person too. So sometimes telling your partner isn't necessarily strong enough because we all have things in our relationships with our partners that, that we can, there's a lot more wriggle room with people that really love us dearly. Um, so think about someone outside of your marriage, perhaps, or outside of your family, um, maybe a work colleague, or in my case, a personal trainer. I'll leave that with you tonight to think about accountability. It's a big scary word, um, but sometimes we can use it to our advantage to help us reach the goals that we're trying to reach. Have a lovely Tuesday night. Um, don't forget to let me know if you're liking these videos. Thank you very much for that little love heart. Um, and um, feel free to drop in some comments and some questions. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Bye for now.